Way back then, a friend of mine posed the question, what is wrong with the music industry, not just in Africa, but the entire world globally? What is really going on with the church? A question that would be fitting even today. What does the Bible talk about God's wrath against mankind? Well, the Bible is way too clear about this. When you read the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 24, it says, Therefore God gave them over into the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for degrading their bodies with one another. So this is what we see in the church today. So the Lord has given these men over to a depraved mind to do what ought not to be done. There comes a point in life where God deals with man and nations individually, groups of people when the Lord abandons them. There are certain things that happen into their lives and, and there are consequences of the Lord's abandonment to the people that actually compromise to selling their souls to the devil and worshipping the devil or doing all these messed up things in the church. So this comes with the consequences. When the Lord decides to give these people over, the Bible says they'll eat the fruit of their own choices. What is wrong with the church today? What do we see in the church today? Why are these pastors acting so wicked? So the answer is, the Lord has given over these people to feed over their choices. The so-called famous pastors we see in church today have chosen to see in our forsaken listening to the Holy Spirit or the voice of God's instruction. In other words, they have chosen to turn their back on God and have also chosen to reject the true gospel that is not taught into the churches today. They have chosen to reject the biblical morality. They have chosen to disobey the clear commandments of God. So this is what we see in the church today. These pastors have given over to the sinful desires of their hearts. And the people in the society also are living with a depraved mind. And so the Lord has given them over to their sinful desires. As the Bible says, many will turn away from their faith and pay attention or close attention to deceitful spirits. So this is what we see in the church today. Many of these pastors have done rituals. Many of these pastors have been initiated into occultism and they're trying to bring a false doctrine and making many souls lost by not speaking the truth and simply rejecting the word of God and doing their own desires. For over 30 years, Robert Kayanja has been molesting so many boys and because he joined a secret society and he's told to do these rituals whenever he's about to perform miracles and now his days are numbered the bible describes homosexuality as a sinful and unnatural practice and the lord condemns this this is prohibited before the eyes of god anyone who has sex with a fellow man this is really prohibited and these so-called Pastors who have joined the homosexuality thing and the LGBTQ thing are soon facing that judgment Because whoever practices homosexuality Even the pagans actually cannot tolerate such practices People we see in the world are starting to judge the church and they're claiming this one cannot be a pastor if he stands out to to, to, to sodomize so many young boys out there who come out claiming I was sodomized and I was promised to be given money and stuff like that. But in the end, I got my behind distorted. I, did, I didn't get a single penny from Robert Kayanja. So many accusations have been coming up and not in bad faith. And Robert Kayanja has been buying the media, has been talking to a bunch of bloggers online who just show up anytime and start creating stories that the man is just being set up. You know, people are hating over Robert Kanja ministry because the guy is too rich. No, the Lord is going to fight this battle. And I'm telling you, so many so many things are going to come up. So many other boys are going to expose Robert Kayanja, Chiwewe C, Kansanga Miracle Center, Apostle Mose, the one of Worship Harvest, Grace Lubega. You've been moving around the same circles encouraging lots of uh, sexual perversion among the youths. 
you sodomize different people and you you know you're doing so many weird things into your ministries you're preaching that gospel of prosperity forgetting that Christ the Lord is the judge of righteousness and no one will commit all this sin and leave this earth without being punished i'm telling you judgment has come before robert kayanja even people in the world today can actually see this and it cannot be you know it cannot be hidden anymore because all the secrets have been revealed recently i saw a post online on media that blew up and none of these big pastors in uganda has actually come out to talk about this because they are in favor of their fellow gay pastor robert kayanza who uh, bribes them and uh, you know they usually make go for meetings and uh, they run around the same circles so don't expect anything about homosexuality to be shut down and you'll not even see any of these big pastors talk about it because they are used to him and they're getting huge sums of money from different homosexuals from the LGBTQ community is why you see pastor Moses Mukisa apostle Moses Mukisa is having an international school called Harvest International Harvest School something like that why did he get all this money do you think it just came out is just hard working no there are some things that they do backstage that you can barely know so when they want to acknowledge you they give you a huge sum of money and uh, you start up different businesses and uh, you can as well preach the prosperity gospel whereby people will be fooled and not talk about sin they only talk about wealth creation only talk about uh, you travel nations you'll do this you, you'll be rich you'll be safe let me tell you this any pastor or any preacher that gives you a gospel that does not lead you into repentance but leads you into different stuff i'm sorry to say this but that preacher is leading you to hell robert kayanja you like money so much and so many boys have lost their lives so many boys you've hurt during your past times but the lord is doing something big in the spirit you will perish if you don't repent and very soon much of the stuff you've been doing in your dark corners or in the secretive places where you you live is going to leak very soon you'll be exposed everyone is going to know even people in the world have started seeing this recently we saw papa cd the man came up the man was seeking for deliverance maybe he was seeking for a solution and came to your church you instead molested this guy so he came up to speak and now the entire nation knows the truth that robert kayanja you have been gay for quite some time we saw this way back then in the spirit and you would molest so many boys but you still deny so it's now coming right before your eyes you will eat the fruit of your choices and if you don't repent you're left with death and the lord's judgment has already come this time around you will not survive other different ministries that are related to Robert Kayanja's ministry like Miracle Center Kansanga a church that was built in only 6 months and uh, people even barely knew where this money came from to set up such huge structures you know but all we saw was you know we had rumors that this man was sodomized this man is sodomizing so many young boys out there so all this is coming into the public all this is going to be revealed and so many other boys are coming up to expose you levixon you've played a very big role into this homosexuality thing and you still stay backstage with those artists of the world recently we saw you signing a deal with swans avenue how can a gospel artist a so called gospel artist who claims has the spirit of god sing with artists of the world or go to a record label that has you know different sources of anointings that do not connect with the god that we serve and you still say that you're holy repent if you wise and leave the world alone come back to christ and seek your rest edi kenzo and pastor bugembe will not give you the rest that you're seeking for it is only in christ it is only in christ where where you'll have all this life 
all these things you've been doing in the backstage is going to pop up and we shall expose you if you don't stand for the truth. Any church or any ministry that received money or any funding from Robert Kayanja Ministries, you're going to perish, better repent very soon because judgment has come upon you and everything that belongs to Robert Kayanja is all cursed. This man sold his soul to the devil. He is not of God. Any platform that is related with Miracle Center churches is distracting you and you'll never see the kingdom of God. You'll never see the kingdom of heaven, I'm telling you.